What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another short and sweet Sunday. It's been a while since we had one of these, but there's no time like the present. I was talking to a buddy, and the thought came up, why not talk about the Switch Lite? I recently just got one, and I love the different names that people came up with it, like the Lite Switch or the Switchless, because <laughs> it doesn't dock. However, I am usually away from the house, and when I'm home, I don't really have too much time to game or do game-related things. It's a small amount of time in the day allotted pretty much to just do this and uh, and have fun with it. Now, Nintendo's pre-launch reveal uh, had emphasized the Switch Lite wasn't for everyone. And that honesty just blew me away. It's not every day when a large company tells you, hey man, this is a cool thing we're making, but it might not be for you. They also directed people to their website and uh, I, didn't, I didn't really go <laughs> to thoroughly check it out, but I'm pretty sure it had like a questionnaire or something or maybe the specs for the Switch Lite showing what it can and cannot do. In any case, the Switch Lite allows me to play some sick games while I'm out and about. I didn't need any of the features that it did lack, like the aforementioned docking ability, rumble, and I don't feel like I need the IR camera, but I haven't played a normal Switch long enough to know what the IR camera really does. So I'm, I'm kind of in this situation where I don't know what I don't have. When the time and money comes, I do have a bit of a wish list going for the Switch. Majority of them have been RPGs, and it's pretty much like bringing an interactive book wherever I go, and pretty much I can bring it out whenever I want to read a chapter or three. So far, I've purchased only one game, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, and it is beautiful and engaging. I've tried to play this game several times in my lifetime. The uh, Final Fantasy XII off of PS2, and then basically the... Uh, the PS2 version over and over and over again. I j for some reason, I just couldn't get into it. I can't remember if it was due to time constraints or just my squirrely attention span, but it was not happening. Basically, until now. I've only had the Switch Lite, the yellow one, by the way, for about two weeks or so, and I don't see the honeymoon excitement ending anytime soon. I can't wait to get some sweet SNES games on this. If you have a Nintendo Switch, Switch Lite, a Lite Switch, a Switch List, whatever you want to call it, or both. What do you enjoy the most about it? What kind of games do you play? And what do you feel Nintendo could have done better with the Switch or Switch Lite? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've liked this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe. Take care and have a great day.